Good morning and welcome back to Ecuador. This week we're in Vilcabamba, which is just a small town in the south of Ecuador, kind of nearing the Peruvian border. Vilcabamba actually derives from the name given to it by the Inca of Huillobamba, which means the Sacred Valley. It's also known as the Valley of Longevity. People here have been known to live for up to 134 years, which is just insane. <laughs> I don't know if I would want to live for a hundred more years, but if I were to have to, I would do another hundred here in Vilcabamba because it is gorgeous. So today we're going to show you why Vilcabamba is so great and why people want to come here all the way from living and doing vacation here, Ecuadorians and expats alike. But first, we got to wake up Sarah. sleep forever. Uh -huh. That's perfect. Uh -huh. <laughs> Alright, you ready to rock? <laughs> Just about <laughs> trying to look alive a little bit here. Oh, have you showed off our shower yet? Guys, uh -huh. look how amazing the shower is. Yeah, when you're traveling, you never take a good shower for granted, but this one is so nice. Hot water, so big, beautiful stones. Natural light. Oh. It's amazing. Let's go, breakfast. And how is it? So, so good. I love crepes. Crepes are so good. <sighs> we are so excited to be here in Vilcabamba. <laughs> this place is gorgeous and the views just from the surrounding mountains of Vilcabamba and the valley are just the best arguably to me the best part <laughs> about Vilcabamba absolutely and all the videos that you've seen from this morning are actually from Ishkaluma Hosteria and they have by far the best view of Vilcabamba this place is so beautiful not only just the views but just the nature on the property in general there's so many plants flowers we've seen birds squirrels other creatures super connected with nature and we just love it here and not only is the property beautiful the accommodations here are amazing and there are so many to choose from they also have a spa with a variety of massage facial pedicure and different scrub options which is a great way to spend your day relaxing and every morning there's free yoga so you can really start your day off right they even have a pool here, a bar, a bunch of games. They even have a giant sized chess that you can enjoy. And we had a lot of fun with these, playing around with all these different games. And there's a restaurant with amazing food and drinks. You really cannot go wrong with anything that you choose off the menu. We have loved the food here. <laughs> Absolutely. So we highly recommend if you come to Vilcabamba to stay at Ishkaluma, they even have a shuttle directly from Cuenca to here. And that's what we took to get here. It was by far the easiest way to get here. It still takes five hours in a van, but it was very efficient, super windy road, but beautiful views. <laughs> so that's a great option if you wanna come and stay at this hostel. The thing is about Vilcabamba is that it's really spread out. So when you're actually gonna come and stay here, it's better to stay at a place where you can kind of have everything all in one place. That's why we really loved Ishkaluma. It really has it all. We haven't even really needed to leave this property because it just has everything you would need to enjoy Vilcabamba. But we also want to show you what the town is like as well. So we're going to head downtown now and kind of give you a little bit of a view of what the city center is like, even though most people live outside of town. So 
So coming into the town, even though Vilcabamba is very small, it actually has a lot of stuff here. So like our first impression is that like there's all these different tiendas. It's very windy as you can tell. <laughs> different tiendas, artisan shops. Um, Cafes. Yeah, totally. And there's actually this little town square where we're sitting right now and it's yeah, just beautiful. It is really beautiful and it's so quiet. I mean, there's people <laughs> walking around and shopping and doing their thing, but yeah. It's very quiet yeah. here and very calm. And relaxed. Yeah, it's very beautiful. And you yeah. just still, even though you're in town, you just see these beautiful mountains all around. And I love that. <laughs> they smell so nice. Always stop and smell the flowers. <laughs> get there a little fanny pack look how cute it is I've been looking for one but this one is like awesome color so we're really excited about that This river is so nice, it reminds us so much of home. Like we have a river that we always go to and hang out at the sun in the summertime and it's just awesome. <laughs> it's so nice. And because of the rich nature here with the mountains and the rivers and all the, yeah, like a little bit of a warmer temperature here in Vilcabamba, it has attracted a lot of people to come and farm here. And there's actually a large community of organic farming and you can notice it in town too. A lot of organic shops, mm -hmm. vegan shops. Yeah, kind of an emphasis on back to nature and living off the land here, which is really cool. And it also has attracted a large, by the sounds of it, <laughs> very vocal group of conspiracy theorists here in, <laughs> in Vilcabamba. We've heard quite a few interesting stories from people. And yeah, there's definitely a large community of expats that fall into that category here, which is interesting. <laughs> this is why the Andes are so amazing. You have all these beautiful peaks just being lit up by the sunset. And it was actually kind of rainy this morning. You would have never guessed it. <laughs> Good morning, it's day two here in Vilcabamba. Another beautiful day. As we showed you yesterday, one of the most beautiful things about Vilcabamba is the gorgeous Andean mountains surrounding the whole valley. It is so beautiful. And there are hiking trails all over the mountains here. Ishkaluma has a bunch of their own trails, but there's also just a bunch of city trails and you can really just explore wherever you want. So today we're gonna go on one of the most classic hikes here and show you the view from the top. So one of the more sought after things to do in Vilcabamba is to hike up to Mandango Mountain and you can kind of see it from right there. You can actually see it from most places in Vilcabamba. It's very beautiful even from the bottom but we want to hike up to the top because apparently the view is perfect. Hey Sarah, What's up? you wanna carry me? Uh, it's so hot. Oh my goodness. I was not expecting it to be quite so warm today. Worth it also, we were expecting an hour and a half hike because that's what other people told us it was yesterday. And then we started this hike. And while we're already into it, the guy's like, yeah, hopefully we'll be back by four, which is six hours from now. So this is gonna be a lot longer than we expected. Have a great time. Cute. That's a big grasshopper. Please don't jump on me. That is a big guy, holy cow.
This is Cerro Mandango. So what makes this rock formation so amazing is that there's just like rocks all in here, like holding this one peak up and it just goes straight up from this corner. And it's honestly a little bit scary to be standing underneath, but very, very cool. So we officially made it to the top of the Mandango Mountain and behind me you can see Vilcabamba and it is just a beautiful, beautiful 360 view up here. There's Eric <laughs> and I, I just can't even believe it. It is so, so beautiful up here. It's very warm, not windy, it's perfect weather. And next we're heading on this little ridge that you can see. at this forest we're going through. Straight cacti to avoid. But the view continues to just be unbelievable. Probably said wow one million bajillion times today. We survived. So tired. So sweaty. So tired. Probably sunburnt. Definitely sunburnt. What are we most excited for though? The pool. And beers. Yeah, beers. beers. <laughs> We're gonna go take a quick swim and then get a brewski. You bet. It's gonna be perfect. Time for well, some. We've been waiting for that beers. whole hike. So excited. Mm. The beer they have here. Nishkaluma is so good. Maybe the best beer I've had in Ecuador. It's really good. Maybe because if we just went on a long hike, but it's so good. So Peter from Ishkaluma, actually the owner of Ishkaluma, <laughs> is bringing us to we don't know where. <laughs> <laughs> On an adventure, an a adventure, surprise adventure. A surprise adventure, so we're... Uh, we're excited to yeah, see where he brings us. It's a nice us. day, so it's going to be awesome. <laughs> yeah. So we made it up to the top of this mountain basically. <laughs> Peter drove us up in his truck and it was so it was dusty, crazy. so bumpy. But so steep also. So steep. But what's crazy is that there's tons of people up here. Yeah. And, and A, this is why. You can see this so amazing beautiful. view behind us. It's just gorgeous. So crazy but up here. The second reason is that this is where uh, one of the most famous swings in Ecuador is.
<laughs> that swing was so crazy. That was incredible. <laughs> it did not look that fun from no. behind, but once you're on it, it just feels like you're actually gonna drop off the end of the world. Yeah. Like that was crazy. I'm, I usually don't get like afraid from that stuff, but then all of a sudden you like see the view and like all you see is your feet and like the, yeah. it's just wild. And and like going backwards, you can't see anything. You don't know where you're going, and all of a sudden you're just like on this edge. It was so fun. Highly recommend coming Definitely. if you come to Milkabama. Definitely come to the swing. <laughs> so windy but we made it to another like kind of top of a of a ridge here that has yeah. this house and it's amazing it's a restaurant yeah and they serve kui which is what we're gonna try today yeah. and so for those of you that don't know Before we get blown kui off is not only an ecuadorian delicacy but it's also guinea pig yes and we wanted to try it not because we want to try guinea pig but because it's an ecuadorian and we feel like we have to try when we're here but we've been waiting for kind of an authentic experience and here they make it over the fire and yeah yeah it's, it's awesome authentic. we're excited to try it <laughs> if you can hear us <laughs> It was so windy on that ridge and there was loud music playing so you can't hear us, but eating Kui at Casa de Barro was a good experience. However, I don't think we'll try it again because there was not a lot of meat and it was a lot of work to eat it. Plus, you know, it's a guinea pig. Well. We're leaving Vilcabamba tomorrow. Yeah. We're so sad to be leaving. We were only planning on staying here four nights and it's been over a week already. Story of our lives yes, in Ecuador. So typical. But <laughs> this place is very beautiful yeah. and uh, it's gonna be sad to leave even yeah. even though we've only been here for a week. It just suddenly felt very like comfortable. Comfortable. Yeah, mm -hmm. like it's just such a nice place to be. Yeah, and it is so beautiful here. The nature is so gorgeous. We've also met such lovely people. Mm -hmm. I know we talked about conspiracy theorists before, but <laughs> there's also so many other people in Vilcabamba that don't fall in that category right. that are just so kind and lovely and um, focus on nature and living off the land. And that's, right. that's been really cool to experience too. Yeah. Yeah, so um, if you do come to Vilcabamba, this place has a lot of things to do, kind of mm -hmm. like what you've seen in our vlog. But we've also been told that the best thing to do in Vilcabamba is nothing. <laughs> it's it's really a nice place to just relax and just be in the Andes and um, hopefully have some nice uh, days like we've had. Absolutely. And it's just gorgeous. Yeah, it's it's really awesome. We highly recommend coming here again. And yeah, make sure to make a stop here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And stay at Ishkaluma if That's you right. do come to Vilcabamba just for a few days so relaxing here the staff are wonderful everyone and, is so yeah. helpful and very personable like it's Absolutely. it's very much like everyone knows your name and it's uh yeah so really nice to be able to stay here at ishkaluma this week Absolutely. Uh, yeah make sure to subscribe to our youtube <laughs> channel that'd be really awesome and um yeah like this video comment if you've ever been to vilcabamba yeah, or if you're definitely. hoping to go here and yeah share this with your friends so more people can see it and we'll see you in the next one <laughs> I don't know how I want to start this. <laughs> that was good. How perfect is that? Okay, I think you just, I think, I think just... you should just.